For the last two years, a group of women have been making it their mission to help make life a little easier for the seniors in their communities. 13 News reporter Haley Kosick joins us now live in the studio to explain how they're continuing their efforts virtually. Haley. Lily, these women make up a program called West Virginia It Takes a Village, where each individual brings their expertise to the table to help senior citizens succeed in their everyday lives. But recently, this has been a challenge due to the coronavirus, but they've come up with a solution. West Virginia, it takes a village, hosts seminars and workshops to help educate and assist seniors and keep them up to date on what's new in an ever-changing society. By the time a senior needs help, they either don't know where to go or maybe because of the medications they're taking or their age, they no longer even see that they need help. And even if they understand they need help, they don't know who to reach out to, who can trust. Individuals from different businesses and organizations interested in the program's mission attend seminars to learn how to better their services for seniors in their communities. We just wanted to create a way for the people who were already doing what they were doing really good, how we can network together to make sure the best services are used and available. Once those individuals are trained, they then can help build stronger and healthier communities that are elderly friendly. But due to the coronavirus, the workshops are now being moved online starting tomorrow with virtual smiles that will teach seniors how to stay in touch with family during this tough time. Remembering that right now, like people do have well, many people, people who aren't aren't out essential workers, um, have a little more time at home than they do before. But even that, to make time for people who are maybe quarantined alone and don't have somebody to talk to every day. So finding ways to make that face time. Now, West Virginia, it takes a village, serves the Kanawha Valley as well as the surrounding areas. They have the next two weeks planned out for virtual workshops that are being broadcasted via Facebook Live on the group's page. Head over to our website where you can find that information, wwktv.com. Lily.